Hi friends, welcome to A Wonderful Sheep. It is another rainy day in Seoul and I'm back with another stationery shop tour and haul video. The first stop is the Black Heart Pencil Shop, which I've been eyeing on Instagram for months, so I was really excited to visit. It is a beautiful space dedicated to all things vintage pencils. The owners have curated a really nice collection of vintage pencils and related items like sharpeners and erasers. And it was so nice to just explore the space and learn more about the history of pencils and read more about the anecdotes behind different pencil brands and the history of brands. I also have a thing about pencil sharpeners. I really like a small portable pencil sharpener. So it was fun to see the different types of pencil sharpeners they had on display. The shop is both a store to sell vintage pencils and related goods, but also is a showcase of the owner's collections. And you can see later there's like a nice curio cabinet of really interesting vintage items, which is always fun. And in general, just passion is infectious, right? So it was really nice to be in this space where it was so apparent how passionate the owners were about vintage pencils. And I left more excited to use pretty, well-designed pencils. I also love these vintage pencil boxes. Perhaps ironically, I actually ended up not buying a pencil this time around, but I got a little pencil cap to protect the inside of my bag from being scratched up. And I also got one of the pencil sharpeners, which I thought was fun because you rotate the handle like a stationary pencil sharpener, except I think it's a bit gimmicky because after I've used it a bit, I found that the sharpener scrapes away too much of the wood, exposing too much of the lead. And I've broken a couple lead points using it. So you have to be careful about that. Just down the street from the Black Heart Pencil is the May store, which is mostly stationary, but it also has props and accessories like jewelry, cell phone cases, bags, candles, etc. It's a small shop, but it is quite full of stickers and stationary goods. And the more I've explored stationary shops in Seoul, the more I'm learning to pace myself and not go crazy at every shop because there are really cute items everywhere and there are so many talented illustrators and artists working locally so there's just a plethora of stuff but i've learned to pace myself and really discern what stationary items i like to use and what i actually do use so i've been better about not splurging at every trip and i'll have the haul for the rest of the shops at the end of the video Further down the street is Bi Ok, which this was a really interesting space because leading up to the shop, it has sort of like an urban architecture interior design feel, but inside the shop, it's 90% cute, lovely stationery. The shop also serves as a record store, so you can buy records. And I believe it was also a cafe. I think I remember seeing a sign, a menu for like coffee items, and there was a corner of the store where we could sit and drink coffee, I believe.
If you are passionate about stationery, I do hope you can come to Seoul when it's safe to travel again because really there are so many cute shops. I have more videos like this of places I've visited and I haven't edited yet. So hopefully I'll get these out to you soon. Finally, the last stop is the Darling Spoon store. It is a prop shop and that means mostly toys and accessories. And so here's the haul from the Darling Spoon shop. I got these cute fruit clips to clip open my journal. And I got these retro postcards from Giok. They're by Echo de Sol, which is a brand I like. And then I got these Sol stickers from the May store to share with pen pals as well. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more art and stationery videos from Seoul, South Korea.